Morning. So it's just after seven o'clock in the morning. Oh, washing line. And uh, today is unfortunately our last morning. So we've got a. We're just packing up, and I'm just taking the dog out. But as you can see, it's bucketing down right now, and the visibility is really poor. You can't even barely see the lock right behind us, and also the mountains there. Um, my hope was to wake up just in time for the sunrise and get some shots but with the weather the way it is it's a no chance um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed the last few days anyway uh, we managed to get some good photography done and i'm gonna go back and review kind of most of the photos and videos and then we'll have a good old talk about it so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you back at home now <sighs> well we have made it back home after a long, what, seven, eight hours of driving, which was ridiculous. I mean, I could have flown to like Chicago in that amount of time. Um, no, it wasn't a too bad a drive back, to be fair. Um, it, it, say it did take a long time, but you know, we got there eventually. Um, but what a trip we had up in the Highlands of Scotland, and I'll go on beauty than that. So. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll get across to um, my table and we'll start talking about some of the uh, the photos I've taken over the last few days and I've just put together a little uh, video montage of some of the clips that you've, some of them you've seen in, pre in previous videos and others you haven't, uh, so hopefully you enjoy that. But first we'll go intro and then the B-roll sequence. Hey, welcome, welcome back to the table. Um, so, yeah, Scotland, um, absolutely amazing place. Um, now, my parents actually live up in Scotland, but they live uh, down near Dumfries. So it was kind of the first time that I've actually managed to get up and about much higher in Scotland. Um, and we also had my in-laws fly over from Germany, so we wanted to take them and treat them to a little trip and see all the sights. Well, as many as we could in four days, really. So the first pic I actually want to show you is this one. I'll just pop it up here. Um, this is a picture that I just took. I think it was like two, three o'clock in the afternoon, handheld with the camera. And it was just of Loch Ridden, I think the, the lock is called. And you see a bit of it in my B-roll footage there as well. Um, but for this one, I was just shooting at around 17 millimeters, F10, um, 1 400th of a second at ISO 320 and just did a bit of editing in Lightroom just to bring out some details, reduce the highlights. So I hope you like this photo. The next one was the following day we decided to drive to uh, Glencoe and again I'll just pop uh, a couple of the images up here. I found the best shots with this one was to shoot horizontally and vertically, both at around 70 millimeters using my 70 to 200. This time I was using the tripod, so I had it at ISO 100, and I was going at f8 for around 160th of a second. Glencoe is absolutely superb. I mean, we were there kind of at the wrong time of day, so I was having to use a uh, graduated filter as well um, just to kind of reduce the highlights coming down on the mountain and I think it really made this image pop I'm I'm really proud of this image and I hope you agree too it seems to be doing quite well on Instagram and Facebook as well which I'm more than happy about I'm sorry I keep looking at the screen so I know what I'm talking about <laughs> um, so yeah I've got a few different images of this uh, little house cottage up against the side of a mountain um, it is a shot I've kind of seen before from a few other photographers but sometimes no matter how famous a place is you still want to do your own take on it or try and get your own shot so it's part of your own portfolio 
there's nothing wrong with going to the most popular places and picking up you know similar images you know try not to copy but just try and put your own spin on things so there's nothing wrong with doing that at all over the course of the four days one of my actual goals was to get a shot of a highland cow um, or coo <laughs> as you call it up there in scotland so i've got a couple of different images and i'll just pop them up here as well in the corner um so yeah let, let me know what you think of these shots i was quite happy uh well, my wife really likes this one it just tells a little bit more of a story um and we've also got this one here where you can see the golden light shining across the golden colored fur really uh and with the trees and the mountains in the background with the long grass just in front and i think it's a really nice composition this was handheld and i was shooting right at 200 millimeters iso 100 at f3.2 for about one four hundred of a second sorry my dog's messing around there Carson, come on lie down um right where was we and the final one I want to, or the final two I'll talk about from Scotland as well uh, for the moment is yeah, so I've got this shot. So we were driving along and you saw this in my video, uh, I think it was episode episode three. Um, we were driving along and we saw like where this glacier most likely was, you know, probably 10,000 years ago or so. It's this beautiful valley with mountains on either side and it's just carved in the middle. Uh, with little pathways and rivers and that going through it. So I thought I'd try just the Sigma 10 to 20 mil on my D500 and I put it vertically. And I just shot, yeah, pretty much wide open that uh, 10 millimeters, ISO 100, um, F8 for 1 200th of, uh, 1 250th of a second. And I also, just with this one, decided to just mess around with some LUTs which I got from Chris Howe. And I really like this one. Um, I just think it's a beautiful, it, it added like a beautiful color to it, which I was more than happy of. I think the LUT from Chris How I used was Gold Rush. Let me just double check that here. Or oh, was it Fer oh, Fernway? Uh, yeah, something like that anyway. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I really like this image. It seems to pop quite nicely. I had to also just reduce those highlights down in the sky because again, it was early in the day. Funnily enough, throughout this trip, I didn't actually manage to do any sunrise photography or any sunset photography. So all of this was kind of the worst times of day for photography. You know, you, you should always know the golden rule is get out during golden hour. Um, but due to time constraints or weather or anything like that we just didn't have the chance to do it unfortunately the next image um, i have was uh, from glencoe i've never really shot mountains before um, so this was kind of a new a new style for me to try out and i zoomed in at the top of this mountain at two uh well, actually i'm at 70 millimeters for this one um but iso 100 f 5.6 for 1 250th of a second again and I zoomed in the top because I could see this mist just kissing the top, as you can see here. And I think it was just a really nice composition. Um, I've added kind of some orangey reds into the color of the mountain. You've got that negative space at the top, which I think adds a bit of atmosphere to it. Um, the mountain itself is normally, um, say, quite green. I just wanted to make it pop a little bit different because the green, they weren't really nice greens. Um, they look good to the eye, but in terms of the image, I wasn't really that happy with it. So that's why I thought I'd try and make it a bit more atmospheric. And I hope you agree too. I like this image, uh, my wife doesn't. But you know, let me know what you think in your comments below. And uh, yeah, I, that's kind of it. I say I do have plenty of other images from the trip and you can, uh, see you quite a few of them on my Instagram. I'm at Sheared Photography on Instagram. But yeah, hope you enjoy. Give us a like, subscribe, and I hope to see you again for real, real soon. Take care. Bye bye.